Today we're gonna talk about the mortars in Battlefield 1 and how to use them effectively. And now you may ask yourself, why do we need a guide for the mortars? It's a very easy weapon to use. But while I agree it's very easy, I can tell you something to make it even more powerful and more effective. First let's talk about in which game modes to use the mortars, because in some game modes the mortars are very effective and very useful. But in some game modes they're not useless but situational. The two most effective game modes in which you want to use the mortars in my opinion are Rush and Operations, because in those two game modes it's a progressive map, so basically there is one team attacking and one defending. So you have less chance of being flanked also because your teammate is always spawning behind you. And there is a restriction on how much terrain they can go forward, talking about the enemies. And the only thing you need is to get in range of the enemies and get some object, some cover in front of you to prevent snipers from killing you. You can still be exposed to enemy planes or some enemy trying to rush or some grenades but not as much as your teammates. And there are some cheesy tactics like uh, spamming an hot zone or after your team uh, plants the bomb on rush you can just spam your mortars on the objective so the enemy team won't be able to defuse it. But you will find this along the way. The game modes in which uh, the mortar is more situational are the ones like Conquest, where you have objectives all around the map and enemies can be anywhere. So with your mortar, when you're using it, you are a very easy target because you're not moving and also when you're shooting your mortar, you appear on the main map for a brief second. So you become an easy target and if there is just one scout with a good position, they can kill you very easily and in Conquest, this will happen more often. So I recommend if you want to use it, especially for enemy vehicles in Conquest, but not to spam it all the time, otherwise you will die very often, unless your team is taking all the objectives and you know you're safe behind you. Now for the mortar we have the high explosive ammunition and the eye bust. The high explosive deals a lot of damage, but you need to hit directly the enemy if you want to deal this damage, because the explosion radius is very limited, while the airbus has a higher explosive radius but deals less damage. Also take in mind that the high explosive uh, ammunition for the mortar deals more damage to the vehicles. With the normal one you may deal 3 damage if it's in heavy tank, or sometimes 9 or 7 if it's another type of tank, a lighter one, with the high explosive you can deal 20-25, which is a big difference. So as I'm trying the two out, I'm liking the high explosive once more, and now I'll tell you why. Your priority targets when using the mortar are other users using the mortars, because they can kill you very easily. Because when you shoot the mortar, you appear for a brief second on the minimap. A good player will take that opportunity to rain down shells on you. And uh, you want to do the same, before shooting your mortar, look in the minimap if in your range you see all the mortars. This will be easy kills, and with the high explosive you will be able to kill them more easily, because you will deal more damage, since they are not moving, it's an easy target. But if you see that the enemies don't have many mortars, or maybe they're out of range, they don't have as many vehicles, and they seem to move around a lot, or your team is not spotting enough enemies, I recommend switching to Airbus. So I prefer the high explosive, but I switch often to Airbus too, because in some situation it's most beneficial to use Airbus instead of high explosives. You also want to target houses in which the enemies are camping. You can destroy them and sometimes you will destroy a wall or the roof. The building will come crashing down and you will also get a lot of kills on top of destroying the cover of the enemies. So guys, that's it for the mortars in Battlefield 1. The video got a little bit longer than I expected but I love to talk about the mortars because it's the thing that I enjoy the most right now in Battlefield 1. And if you didn't try them yet, I recommend you do because they're very fun to use. So guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.